Hello everyone! In today's tutorial, we're going to explain how to create and manage what are known as variants for our 3D models. This feature allows us to have different materials for the same object with the same geometry, so that later in the program, in Virtual Tour Pro, we can alternate or switch between the different versions of these materials. This can be very useful for visualizing products with different versions or finishes or for architecture or interior design projects, where we'd like to do virtual staging to see how different colours of our furniture would look in the rest of the house, or perhaps change the texture of the floor tiles or the colour of the walls. And as I say, always maintaining a single geometry, because something similar we could do, like in this case, is to exchange these elements. But here what we are really doing is hiding or showing 3D objects, that have, as you see, different geometries. These are different cases, and depending on the needs, you can use one method or another. If the change is only about the material, this variant function will be ideal since, as I say, you're not expanding the geometry by having to duplicate the object simply to change their color, which will leave your model as reduced as possible, allowing a better visualization, fluidity in movements, even on devices with less processing capacity like mobiles. Well, let's look at the necessary steps that need to be taken, both in our 3D program. In our case, we're going to use Blender for its free alternative, as well as the subsequent management in VTP Pro. You're going to see that it's very easy. Well, let's start with the first phase in Blender, where we first import our model. In this case, what we want is to change the upholstery of this chair and make different variants to this surface. The first thing you need to do to manage variants in Blender would be to go to Edit Preferences. We go here to Add-ons. And here you simply put GLT. And you have to check that you have this module checked, that it is active and especially important. This active, which is what can allow to manage the variants that we are going to see that are managed from here. Clicking that arrow, we go here. And in this area, we will be able to create them. If you have this disabled, as you see, that panel disappears. So it is important that you have this checked. We are using version 3.5. I think that from version 3.0, this module already appears in Blender by default. If you have earlier versions, we will leave you a link so that you can download this add-on from a GitHub page and import it into Blender. Well, now we have made sure that we have this active. We can close the screen and we're going to assume that this initial black will be upholstery one and we're going to create the material for upholstery two and upholstery three. If we select the chair and go to its materials, as we see, we have a separate material for the wood part and another for the upholstery part. To create material 2 and material 3, we recommend adding it to new objects that you create temporarily, just to assign them that material. We go to the shading tab where we will be able to manage our materials or textures. And in this case, what we are going to do is that for the next materials to maintain all this quality of textures, settings and images assigned for the metallic parts, normals, roughness, we are going to go to this material, the leather upholstery. We're going to copy the material here. We're going to this object. We're going to create a new material for it. For example, we're going to call it 02. And from here, we're going to paste material so that it takes all these properties. We're now going to modify its color a bit. And if you don't see the changes in the object itself, you'll have to press here. We rename it again if you want, and we can move on to the third. We do the same, paste the properties. We're going to make sure by giving it here directly. And we change its color. Let's leave it, for example, this white. And now with our materials created, we can start assigning it to the chair as variants. So we're going to click on this panel. We're going to create a first variant. We're going to put, for example, material one. And with the first material selected, we go down here. Look for this variant section and add a new variant. Here we choose the first variant we created, material one, which would be this one. And we click here to assign. With this, that first black material is already linked to that variant. We're going to create a second variant, material two, and making sure we have the chair selected. Here we change and look for our material zero two. In this way, we see it applied here. We can make adjustments to the material And now in the same way we go here to this part below, we're going to add a new variant. 
Here we assign to the other variant material 2 and we click to assign. We do the same with the third material. We create our third variant. And this material we apply to this third one. In this way we already have our chair with its three variants and from here by clicking on display variant we could visualize each one of them. Now that they are applied we could eliminate these objects because the materials have already been associated with this one and all we have to do now is export our model to GLB or GLTF format. I'm going to change the name here and export. Now let's look at the management of these variants in VT Pro. First, we're going to import our model. We're going to import it in orbital mode. We open it. And before anything else, I'm going to make a few small adjustments so that it looks better in terms of lights and atmosphere. Well, now if our model is well adjusted, we're going to go to this tab, Variants. And as you can see, the three variants that we defined in our 3D program with the name we gave there appear. And as you can see at first, it seems like one is visible, and this is because in our 3D program, this material was the one we left in display variant. If you want this white one to appear in VT Pro, for example, we would have to do this and now export. For this example, we leave it like this. And as you can see by clicking on these variants, we can visualize them here within the program. In this way, we could also initially leave visible the one we wanted. But above all, the interesting thing will be to be able to change it through actions. For this, we are going to go to the skin. I've already prepared three buttons here, in toggle format, associated with the same group. They are all associated with this group, buttons. And we're going to go to the first button and we're going to add the action 3D model, change variant. We choose our model and to this one we're going to leave applied the material one. To the second one, we're going to apply the material to. And to this one, the material three. Done. And we're going to do a preview. And as we can see, if we click on our buttons, we are changing those different materials. As we put the buttons in toggle mode, the selection we make remains marked. In this case, we have applied these actions to these skin buttons, but we could also apply them to hotspots that we put directly on the 3D model. And thus concludes the tutorial. As seen, working with variants is quite straightforward, particularly in VT Pro. It involves selecting the variants you desire using the option demonstrated. From here, it is up to you in your 3D program to generate the necessary textures and variants for your project. Finally, remember that a model can only display a single variant at a time. So if you want to make combinations, for example, of different types of upholstery with different types of wood, all those combinations, you will have to create them as variants in Blender. Keep this in mind for your project. And with this, we finish our tutorial. And as always, we hope it has been useful.